Let's make rice a the proper way, not in a microwave, like, well, a feeder hog. First, we want to coat the pan with a little bit of oil. Your choice, a little bit of vegetable oil or perhaps some light virgin olive oil. I'm using vegetable oil today. Let that heat up for a moment. You can start to hear it sizzle as I've got it preheated. Max likes to cheer me on. Now I want to turn down the heat a little bit because I don't want to burn my oil. Next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and add my rice. Oh, look at all that rice. Isn't it beautiful? Why am I adding it? Because I want to go ahead and start to brown it the proper way. Let's go ahead and start spreading that in there. I'm going to let that sit and from time to time I'm going to go ahead and just kind of come in and stir that so we can properly coat that with a nice little oil in there, okay? Careful when you do this, please monitor it because the last thing you want to do is overly brown your rice or God forbid, burn your rice. Now that my rice is just about as brown as I prefer it, here's what I like to do next. I like to go ahead and add a nice seasoning mix. Now I, this is going to give me a nice little sizzle. And give me a little head start on adding some moisture right into this rice. As the rice is loving this steam. And this is really going to give the entire plate of rice a nice added flavor. We haven't even added the seasoning packet yet. This is just a little added bonus. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now you can see I have went ahead and added about two and a quarter cups of beef broth by Swanson. Now a lot of people will add a little bit, maybe about a quarter uh, spoon, tablespoonful of butter. I choose to skip that step. I don't like a lot of butter so I, I, I skip it. So here's where I'm going to go ahead and add my seasoning pack. I find that there's plenty of flavor in here and with the oils and all the flavors and the seasoning pack and the beef gravy, I really, or excuse me, the broth, there's really no need to add that butter in here. But again, that's going to come down to your preference. Mm -mm -mm. Doesn't that look beautiful? This is going to come out so lovely much better than attempting to cook something like this in the microwave. You'd be surprised how many people don't know how to prepare rice aroni. So I'm now going to go ahead and cover this, bring it to a boil for about three minutes, then I'm going to bring it down to a simmer, let it sit 15 to 20 minutes. I prefer 17 minutes in this particular cast iron pan with a lid. Works perfect at that time every single time. 17 minutes on a simmer. Oh, and look at that. After 17 minutes, we have perfect, nice, beautiful, tender yet fluffy <laughs> gorgeous rice oh.
ready for serving. Let me just sample this. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, mm, oh my God. Jesus to goodness. Now that's oh, not your feeder hog rice a oh, Bon appetit.